Well, well, here it is, stop 35, and it brings me to a very nice looking place in Hunt Hollow. And right now I'm with John, the general manager. John, I'm dying to get up them hills. Tell me about your place. Well, Hunt Hollow is a, uh, it's a private ski club uh, here in western New York. And um, we have about 400, and 400 members here at the club now. It's a great place. It's a little different than, you know, most of the public ski areas. You know, it's uh, a little more eclectic. Uh, a little more low-key and just a great place to ski. A lot of fun for friends and family. Membership has its rewards, no doubt Membership about that. Membership has its benefits. <laughs> now, are there? Is this open to the public at all during the week at all, or just to the uh, to the to the members? No, during the week we actually do sell some public tickets. Uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays, some of the general public can come in, but the weekends are really exclusive for the membership. Well, and 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 that's a given, but it, nice opportunity for some people to come over here and check your place out to uh, decide whether or not they'd like to become a member. Absolutely, we, uh, we encourage people, you know, uh, that may want to be members to come down during the week, try the product, and if it's something that they really like, we'll even invite them back for a weekend of skiing, you know, on us to see if it's something that they really enjoy and Hopefully they'll sign up with us. That's a good deal right there. Also, you have the the rentals here. You're a full service shop. You can take care of everything on site for everybody. We can. We have a great rental shop downstairs. Joe Callahan is uh, our head of rental and repair. He does a great job with people. Plus, we have a great food service here, the Brown Hound Bistro. I'm going to give that a try after I'm done here tonight. Phenomenal. So, I mean, you guys should really try that. The food is great. And it just it adds another element to what we do here at Hunt Hall. So um, I'm dying to get on the terrain. Tell me a little bit about it and what I should know. Okay, well, we, right here, uh, now we have about, uh, we have 60 acres of skiing usually. Uh, this year is a little uh, unusual, as everybody knows, in the Northeast. Yeah. But uh, right now we've got about 75% of the mountain open. Um, the terrain is, you know, it's uh, western New York terrain, high plateau, steep slopes, and flat at the bottom. But it's, it's really good stuff. We've got everything that we have here. We've got a lot of good snow on. So, I mean, I would encourage you, you know, to get out there and try it. It definitely looks good out there, and I think too many people have forgotten because they're not seeing snow in their yard. There's plenty of snow on the slopes of New York. I mean, I've, like I said, I'm on day 35, and I haven't been shut out a place yet. You guys make a, a good amount of snow out here. Well, thanks. It's, uh, you know, it's always a challenge this year more than any. You know, we usually we like to get them out and open in three or four weeks once we start snowmaking, but... You know, this year it's just uh, been more of a challenge. And uh, and usually we, by now, snow guns would be put away primarily. Yeah, you know, usually last year we were done by about the 21st of January. This year, you know, we've got, like I said, about 70%, 75% of the mountain open. And, you know, we just we couldn't get to it all this year. And, you know, we'll finish up what we have uh, for the trails this year, but we probably won't open anymore as we go forward. But next year will be a better year. That's what we're all hoping for. Yeah, definitely. Well, I can tell you one thing for sure. I am definitely looking forward to getting on these hills out here, which is what I'm going to do. It looks like they got a, a nice little uh, rail line set up coming down there, too. Well, my first impression coming up this hill is it looks like they got some real nice steeps here. Looking good. Chris, my first trip here, my first trip down the hill. Welcome. You guys got some good looking stuff here. Great. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it, man. Uh, too bad the weather's not been so good lately, but uh, fresh you know, room and everything's going to be great today. Everywhere I go, I've heard that, yet I haven't skied on anything really all that bad this season, and snowmaking's come a long way. I think we're used to making snow here, so. Yeah. We got it down pat. So. What are some of the coolest things about this place? Uh, we groom usually twice a day, and uh, the membership's outstanding bunch of great patrollers. We have a blast out here. You know, one of the nice things about a private club like Hunt Hollow is it doesn't ever seem to really get over skied. And right now, these conditions here are absolutely fantastic. I mean, there's corduroy everywhere on this hill. This is Megan. Megan, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? Hey, this is my first time here, and you guys have got some really nice terrain out here. But you girls are out here racing today, is that correct? Yeah. What made you decide to become a racer? Um... Well, I just looked really fun, and I like to um, go fast. You like to? Everybody so. seems to like the go fast thing. Mm -hmm. They got some really nice groomed trails here too. Now, do you ski here just besides the racing, or mostly just for the racing? Um, I love it all the time. We ski like every day here. 
Every day. Uh, well, most of the day, yeah. What a, what a pleasure to be able to ski here. Katie, what do you like about this place at Hunt Hollow? Um, I like how everyone knows each other and the hills are always nicely groomed and stuff and it's everyone, I don't know, it's just really fun. What brought you to the racing? Um, my brother's race, so then I raced too. So are you whipping up on your brothers now or? <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet? <laughs> a little time. Megan, what about yourself? What brings you into the racing program? Um, it feels like home. Yeah, <laughs> this is a nice place. Are you guys regular members here as well? Yeah. Yeah, so you, you know the benefits of the membership. I'll uh -huh. tell you, I can't believe there's not more people out here skiing during the week when it's open like this. Oh, you I guys know. got some it's great beautiful. conditions. Mm -hmm. All right, girls, well, <laughs> you enjoy the racing. Thank you. So this is Nick, and Nick, um, we, we just saw you take one for the team there. You were going after it hard. Yeah. Yeah, now, you know, that's got to take a lot of practice to do that as well. Yeah, it's all about going fast, though, so. Yeah, and getting through them <laughs> gates. Now, how much do them gates affect you when you hit one of them? Um, they just knock over. It's not too big of a deal. No, it's not like it's going to push you over no. and... Uh, no. You know, and, and one of the things is your course constantly changes from run to run, doesn't it? After a couple skiers are through that, nothing's ever the same. None of the turns or anything. Right, yeah. The It gets pretty ruddy and uh, skied off, so it's hard to ski through that. But that's what you have to do on race day, so you got to do it in so the practice what, too. So what happened in that corner back there? Oh, uh, it was just a really tight turn going into a tight hairpin. I just couldn't make it. It's going too fast. That's why we're out here practicing, <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, you guys got a great place to ski here. What's some of your favorite stuff besides the racing here? Um. What's your favorite run? Glade and uh, Cascade are really nice race hills, so I like skiing them. And they're really steep. They're one of the steepest hills out here, so in New York, so. Now, now besides doing the uh, the downhill slaloms and whatnot, there, what about some uh, freestyle skiing? Do you do any rails or boxes, or you no. pretty much ski to the? No, I can go over the boxes, but no rails. <laughs> no rails, stay yeah. off of them. Yeah. yeah. Liam, this is really a cool place you got here. I'm really liking the way it skis. I'm liking the way it's groomed out. It's all good stuff. How often do you get here? Uh, I come usually here um, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and so and most of the time Friday and Saturday in the Saber Race. So you're getting here quite a bit then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you like about the racing? Uh, I just like going fast, I guess, and it's just fun. What's cool about hanging out at Hunt Hollow? Uh, it's a nice lodge and it's not crowded like some of the other places. Yeah, there's a lot of good open room to ski here, isn't there? Yeah. Yep. And actually, I just stopped in to have myself a little bit of lunch here. And um, new to Hunt Hollow this year is something called the Hound in the Hollow, which is actually operated by the Brown Hound Bistro, which is just about three miles south of Bristol Mountain. And uh, if you're looking for some very tasty food right here at Hunt Hollow, I would definitely suggest you go to the Hound in the Hollow. So, Steve... At Hunt Hollow here, you're telling me you're part of a, a special program, and tell me more about that. Well, we're all ski patrollers, and we're actually from different mountains, and this is called Senior S&T, which stands for Senior Ski and Toboggan, and it's a higher level of skiing skills and patroller skills and toboggan skills. A lot of them are in the moguls. And this is something you're coming out and doing a little bit of training for tonight? Yes, yep. Yeah, and what's what's the hardest thing about taking a sled through moguls? You know, we, we see you do it, but I don't think a lot of people realize what kind of training goes into that. It's it's hard just to keep your balance and control your speed, and that you have to try to keep the sled in the troughs, and you end up going up on top of the moguls, which usually, if you ever ski moguls, you know that's where the snow's not as good up there. It's softer, chowed up. So, I have a tough enough time skiing them when without a sled dragging behind me. I can only imagine what it's like with a sled. Yeah, and you got to try to control your speed, and you know you you might have a patient in a sled, so obviously you want to try to keep a nice smooth ride for them and a consistent speed. So that's that's the hard part about it. Keep up the good work, my friend. Okay, thank you. So Glenn, yes sir. Tell me about this place, Hunt Hollow. I gotta tell you, you know, it, it must be true that membership has its benefits because this place is a dream to ski. Yeah. This is very nice. The facilities are great, the snow is great. Um, 
the the instructors are all uh, great, good race good race trainers too. Yeah. What's some of your favorite things about coming here? To Hunt Hollow? Yeah. Um, the um, uh, the people. The people are 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 um, just top notch. It's a friendly place, uh, family kind of area. Yeah. Actually, and I just ate down in that uh, the the brown hound uh, at the hollow there. That was good stuff too. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. You know. I, I'm, I'm just getting a sense that this is the type of place where a lot of people are missing out um, that because it's a private resort and it's only open to the public a couple of days a week, mm-hmm. this is a place the public should not be missing out on. Oh, this is a, it's a wonderful, uh, wonderful facility. And as long as winter lasts for four months, you might as well have fun, right? Yeah, you've got some good steep stuff here, but I think the thing that impresses me most is it doesn't seem to be skied out in any way, shape, or form here. They've got great cover on every hill that they have open. And they groom it um, really well when, whenever they can. Uh, the groomers are, are um, uh, very good at what they do. What's your favorite run here? Oh, I like Main Street, right down the middle. Tell me about what? what, what Bill, what, what, tell me about you pulling this sled out right here right now. Uh, we're going to do some training tonight. Yeah. Now, <laughs> what, what kind of got you into that? What's going to get you into to wanting to do the training, to spend as much time as you do out there with it's your fun. training? It's fun. It's, up to you. And it's all you improve, good stuff. It's fun. You improve your skills. That's what it's all about. What's some of your favorite stuff here at Hunt Hollow besides dragging a sled around? I don't think I've spent enough time here to give a good answer on that. But what I've been here so far, it's great. How many times have you been here? Three. Three? Now, I've only been here one, and I can tell you, I'm liking it already. I'm thinking the conditions are great here. Oh, yeah. Um, Obviously, a very well-maintained facility. Absolutely. I mean, it's great. There's cords still on the mountain. It's almost, it's dark already. There's still cords. You can't beat that. that pretty well. Thank you. I love doing it. so much fun. Well, this is Jim, and Jim, you're one of the members here at Hunt Hollow. That's correct. I can definitely see how membership has its advantage. This hill just doesn't seem to be overskied in any way, shape, or form, and you got some beautiful conditions here. Not at all. Yeah, no, it's great. The atmosphere here is just fantastic. I mean, it's just a it's a great place, secure place. We're really small, so you can just kind of let your kids go, and and you always know where you're going to be able to find them. So it's just a great place. Yeah, definitely. What advantage do you think membership has to a place like this? I mean, it's got to help with not having the huge crowds. and. Uh... Oh, absolutely. I mean, you come down here anytime. The only time you have any real crowds are like midday on a Saturday or Sunday. Other than that, there's uh, um, just never really any crowd, never any lift line. Um so that that's the real thing that's the real benefit you know having a membership just kind of forces you to get down here as well you want to take advantage of uh, the money you spent sure and and actually i i think a lot of the people the, even the people that aren't members here that have a chance to come during the week when you are open to the public i think they're missing a great place here because you guys you know it, it just seems that a place like this just seems to have the conditions seem to be perfect yeah well they they really work hard to uh you know with the obviously like this winter um with the very lack of winter we had just to get some good snow down on on at least a few runs early so we're always going to be able to ski you know no matter what the conditions end up being we'll always have something to ski what's some of your favorite runs here well, this main street is kind of nice and gradual, good run to start out on. Um, then, really, the race hills over here, where all the race kids are, Glade um, and Cascade, they're the best ones. Yeah. Especially when it's get a nice open ski. They do leave some of it ungroomed uh, over here, especially on Cascade, so they leave some areas ungroomed. So that's really nice when you actually have a little powder. Yeah, they actually got a nice diversity of terrain here. I noticed they had some long winding out rails or yeah, runs over there. tucked yep. over on the backside. Yeah, yeah. that was real good. And I, and I like the width of this main hill we got right here. It gives you a good chance to ski left yeah. or right a lot down yeah, that hill. Yeah, it does, hill. right. So uh, what do you tell people that have never been here what they're missing? 
Well, you know, what attracted us, like I said, is this a very good family place. You know, we have these wide open grills, you know, open grills to cook on. Nice. So if you're here on weekend, you know, especially Friday, Saturday night, you just hang out all day, cook, um, at, you know, cook at, at night on the open grills, bring some wine, some beers, and just have a good, relaxing day. Kind of like it's, having your own backyard with a it, ski slope. It kind of is. It almost gives you that kind of out west feel, you know, so, so it's just a great place. Even though Hunt Hollow is closed to the general public on the weekends, and you must be invited by a member of Hunt Hollow, one of the coolest things is you can come out and experience this place for yourself midweek when they are open to the public. I mean, look at me. I'm out here after dark, and I'm going to still ski some corduroy out here. You know, a private club is the perfect place to come and check it out during the middle of the week. Who knows, maybe you'll want to become a member at a place like this and enjoy some of the benefits they have, like being able to ski corduroy after dark. Definitely coming back to see this place again.